This just in out of the NFL. The Bills are placing Von Miller on the pup list to start the season. That knocks him out for the first four games. That is per multiple reports. The All-Pro linebacker tore his ACL on Thanksgiving. You see it right here. That happened last season. He is still recovering from his injury. He will now miss games against the Jets, Raiders, Commanders, and Dolphins. Miller will be eligible to return on October 8th against the Jaguars. She did that is week five. That game we played out in London across the pond. And now to break this down even more, we bring in our NFL expert, our defensive guy, Lijay Duzable. And Lijay, of course, this is not shocking news yeah. that he's not ready to start the season, but your reaction on him is to the level where they need to put him on the pup list as he continues to recover. Yeah, I believe, Zach, the Bills were kind of ready for this. If you look at what they've done this offseason, signing Leonard Floyd late in the season, a guy that routinely gets over eight and a half sacks to kind of offset some of the production that Von Miller is getting. But I thought it was interesting that they traded away Boogie Basham knowing that Von Miller is potentially not going to be there for the four games, maybe even longer. We don't know how long this injury will last. Let's not forget, Father Time is undefeated. Von Miller is Superman, but he's in his mid-30s coming off an ACL that he – uh, ha happened to get late in that year. You talked about it Thanksgiving, so I believe that was around like week 10. So who knows how he'll recover and come back eventually. As a player, sometimes it's not just recovering from the injury. It's the mental it's the mental aspect of it, right? Trusting that your knee is strong enough to go do the things that you, you've done for a lot of years and done it at a high level in the NFL. So I think that's something to add into this equation. Like, when will Vaughn feel comfortable enough to go out there and truly be Vaughn Miller again? But I think the Bills were kind of ready for this. Now, you can't replace the production that Vaughn Miller brings, but getting a guy like Leonard Floyd definitely helps the situation. Because of going on the pup, he won't even be able to practice yeah. with the team until after those first four games. We saw him at training camp, at least out there with the team, trying to give it a go. Do you think it will be in his best interest right now to, if he needs to get basically a full year, wait until November with the age, what do you think would be the best situation for him, given what you saw from him in training camp? Yeah, I would say if I'm Von Miller, I'm not going out there until I'm 100% healthy. Again, this guy's in his mid-30s, will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion, and you don't want to go out there before you're truly ready to be the Von Miller that we're accustomed to seeing, right? And again, I think the Bills were kind of ready for this. They knew that there was a void that they had to fill, and they filled it by signing Leonard Floyd right before training camp. But it's an issue for the Buffalo Bills because a lot of people assume that this could be the last year they make that run. You know, most teams have a three- to four-year window, and I believe the Buffalo Bills are coming to the end of that window to potentially make a run at the Super Bowl. And when Von Miller got hurt last year, we saw a massive drop-off as far as players being able to get to the quarterback. Gregory Rousseau, he disappeared when Von Miller got hurt. So hopefully Leonard Floyd can hold down the fort until Von Miller can come back because – this is a massive blow. And let's not also forget, right, Leslie Frazier is not there anymore. This is going to be on Sean McDermott to find ways to, to affect the quarterback without their top pass rusher. You mentioned Super Bowl. Of course, they have aspirations of making it there and finally getting over the hump without Von Miller for four games, five games, however long it is. How does this affect their ability to make it to the game? It affects it a lot. We just talked about it, Zach. Like, when Von Miller went down, as far as them getting to the quarterback – it was null and void. Nobody was even close to even affecting the quarterback at all. Again, getting Leonard Floyd will help that situation. You hope that Gregory Russo can continue to grow. <clears throat> uh, A.J. Epineza, a guy that they drafted in the second round, they're still waiting for him to take that next step. He hasn't taken that step. So without your leader, Von Miller, a guy that has playoff and Super Bowl uh, experience in his past, who's won a Super Bowl, it's going to be a tall task because that secondary is also getting older, right? It's not as young. They lost Tremaine Edmonds in this offseason. So I believe two out of the last three years, this was the number one defense. They took a step back last year. And on paper, they've lost players and they've gotten older. So without Von Miller, who constantly gets to the quarterback, it's going to be a tall task. It'll be interesting to see, again, what Sean McDermott does in regards to how he maybe switches things up to affect the quarterback. Does he blitz a little bit more, put some more onus on the secondary to hold it down, or does he trust the front four guys that they have now to affect the quarterback? Ed Oliver is going to have to step up as well. They just gave him a new contract. Yeah, father time waits for no one, and this time we'll have to wait even more time until we see Von Miller make his season debut, headed to the pup list, out for at least four games. He's Lee J. Duzable. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, when he's out there and playing Von Miller, has been absolutely productive amongst all active players. He has the most sacks sitting at 123 and a half, surpassing Cam Jordan, J.J. Watt, and others. You see here on the list, Miller will miss time 
but you can always catch up with him in all things NFL with the Pick 6 podcast. The newest addition, the squad is talking some postseason futures, getting their predictions, odds, and best bets in as the season is just a few days away. Keep it up here with HQ. Like and subscribe to hear some Pick 6 as well.